All right, guys, here we are for episode, I think this is four, of Daily Dave. And today I got a special guest, Drew, who's working with me. And Drew, what are you holding? Eastern King Snake. Eastern King, Sta Eastern King Snake, Lampropeltis scatula. One of the most widespread species of snakes in the United States. This is the Eastern King Snake. You guys look at that. Now this one is from more of the coastal plain and the, re the reason I can tell is because it has wider bands. So you guys see the bands on this Eastern King Snake? See how they're, <clears throat> they're wider. So the wider bands are usually coastal and the more west you go, those lines right there, they get thinner as you go west. So some really cool things. Oh, by the way, I was gonna tell you, one of the things I wanna point out to you guys, look at this. Everybody see that? That's the corn snake that we talked about the other day. Now, Drew, you put that one on the ground, away from the corn snake, obviously. And wow, does that not stand out so much more? All right, you can get her before she digs into the pine straw. Then the corn snake, which also, remember, resembles a copperhead. The re reason I bring that up is because unfortunately, there's not a lot of these guys around. Um, and that's because they're so easily seen, right? So unfortunately, they get killed off by humans a lot. Um, like the corn snake, these guys are constrictors. But here's the cool thing about this, guys. If we had more of these around, we would have a lot less venomous snakes around. Let's get a close up of its face. Um, I'm gonna hold it this way. Now we would have a lot fewer venomous snakes and the reason these guys are resistant to the venom. So you see the belly, see how it's starting to cloud up and it's milky looking? This snake's getting ready to go in the shed. So it secretes a mucus that's going to loosen up the scales and then this snake's gonna shed in a while. So the eyes haven't milked up yet. So we call it milking up. So when they, they'll turn cloudy, probably tomorrow or the next day. But this snake, and you can, I can tell from the belly, is getting ready to go in the shed. So uh, they're constrictors, they're resistant to venom. So they eat copperheads, rattlesnakes, water moccasins. Um, really important to have around in our ecosystem to keep the venomous snakes in check. But again, they don't camouflage very well. They don't blend into pine straw. And unlike the corn snake, that's harder to see in the pine straw, these guys, unfortunately, we don't see as many. So that is the Eastern King Snake for today's snake, Lampropeltis Catula, the Eastern King Snake. These guys get very tame too, so you see they're popular in the pet trade. Not as much as the corn snake. What a cute dude. But uh, they do get tame and docile, as you can see, um, with Drew handling this one. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time.